Hi everyone, Christy from the Hypothesis team here. And this week I want to talk about how you can engage students in video using Hypothesis Social Annotation. That's right, I said video. So when you think of annotation and social annotation with Hypothesis, you might think of traditional course readings, PDFs, other types of course documents, things students are reading before they come to class. However, within the last year, Hypothesis has launched its first integration with video streaming service in which you can annotate the transcript of the video while you watch the video. The first streaming platform we're compatible with is YouTube, although we'd like to make more options available in the future. But this is a really simple way to add engagement to your course videos without adding too much extra work for you. A lot of video engagement tools require you to add check for understanding questions mid video or come up with additional ways for students to interact with the video to ensure that they're watching the entire thing. However, if you add the hypothesis social annotation sidebar to your video, you're opening up the whole video for conversation and it offers a great way for students to take notes while they're watching a video. Based on some studies with MOOCs, we have found the sweet spot for videos is around seven to nine minutes long or else we start to lose student engagement they're kind of dropping off they're not finishing to the end of the video so how can we make sure that they stay engaged during that video we can add hypothesis social annotation and ask our students to make connections through the video Think about how the video and the contents of the video connect back to what they've discussed in class and what they've read that week, and maybe even make connections to their real lives. Enabling hypothesis to work with video is also powerful because we can bring in pop culture references into our courses and other types of media references as well. Bringing in multimedia can also help fulfill a principle of universal design for learning. This principle encourages us to provide information through multiple means of representation. I'll be talking about that a little bit more in a future video, so keep an eye out for that. But as you can already see, adding annotations to video transcripts really opens up the possibilities to add engagement and enhance student success in our courses with these greater options. Please check out the link below for a sample video annotation assignment that you can use in your own course. Thanks and catch you next time.